more focused on the results. The Muslim individual should be more focused on the results of their action. We learn good intentions, but life will not progress and, progress and proceed and improve with just good intentions. So we have to put our uh, ideals, our values into new terms that will develop the individual and, the indiv and will develop the community and we should set a good example to other communities elsewhere. What specific uh, steps you would uh, like to propose from your experience and wisdom that, <clears throat> that the community needs to take? Um, that you know, establishment of something that unifies the knowledge or expertise and learns from um, from the wisdom of people who have spent uh, decades in this environment. So, what are those specific things that you would like to recommend? To let's say, I'll give you a specific. What would you like ISD to do? What would you like IAD to do? What What is a specific step that you would like Tarbiya School to do or any other organization? The ISD uh, needs to continue what it is doing now. It's doing a great job. Uh, there is a lot of hardworking people. They need to continue to do what they are doing. They need to remain united, cooperating, uh, living and working in harmony. But the agenda needs new items added to it. In addition to uh, the good things that we are doing, uh, events, uh, halakas, uh, outreach, uh, education, the agenda needs to have items that have to do with improving and enhancing our programs. The religious address needs not only to repeat things. Mm -hmm. Every time, every week that you go to Friday prayer, you need to learn a new concept that will help you improve and not only help you feel good. The new subjects need to be addressed. New, we have to be creative. We have to set the goal. If we don't have a clear goal, we will keep doing what we are doing and we will stay w where we are. But if I say our goal together, if we say our goal is to make the Muslim individual results oriented. That means we have to find in the Muslim literature things that teach the Muslim to be uh, focusing on the results of their action. In the same address where I teach people that deeds are by intentions, I also add that you are as good as you help others. If you are professional, you are, your value is in what you do best. You cannot be, as they say, jack of all trades. You will not excel in anything. If your goal is to excel in doing something and your effort will be uh, useful to everyone else, to many people around you, then you have to follow a new approach in what you learn. So we have to put on the agenda the goal for the individual. The goal is to make the individual results oriented. The goal is to make the society service oriented. All right, let's go. Everybody go and look in your books. And don't use the same books that you used all the time for the last 20 years. 
find something new and find out where there is gap and you write yourselves new things come up with, the, with new ideas and come up with new programs to fulfill those ideas the school the goal of the school is not just to educate but to teach the children how to solve problems how to identify problems in the society and find solutions for them. If we teach them to do that here and we, we show results, then we will set a good example for others to do the same thing. In the school, we should ask ourselves, are we teaching the children to be problem solvers? Yes or no? If the answer is yes, show me. Show me today and tomorrow. Give the children a problem today and tell me, make a uh, competition for the solutions. The problem of drugs in the society. The problem of firearms in the society. These are problems the society is facing, right? What are we doing about them? There are two specific areas. We just say good things about them, but we're not doing anything. The school and the masjid should cooperate on solving these two problems. How to rid the, the, the society of drugs. There are so many, so much of it. Some of it is touching some Muslims that they don't come to the masjid. They don't know how to interact with the masjid. We have to go and find them. Our address to the believers is fine. We have to develop a new address to the people who don't come to the masjid. Ask them why they are, are, you are not coming. You get between seven and 8,000 people for Eid prayer. Ask every one of them. How come you don't all come to Friday prayer? Why? What are we doing that you don't like so that we can improve ourselves to attract you? So he might say, you guys are focusing on the good Muslims. I'm not a good Muslim, so I'm not welcome. No, we should welcome good Muslims. We should say in our announcements, we welcome everybody the good and the bad. We should, we should not be prejudiced against anyone, Muslim or non-Muslim, good or not good. That's where our accomplishments really will be. We should go out and find out who are the people who have problems with drugs. We don't know where they are because we are a separated community. We should find out programs. The school children should have time from the school time to look into these things. The higher age students should look into these things. The smaller ch students should learn how to solve problems in some simple conceptual way. And in, in addition to doing plays that replay history, Someone should write a play for solving a problem. Someone should write a play about uh, the, uh, the inner city problems. A play about inner city problems in Wilmington. Show us, show the people what's happening there and the end of the play should be presenting a solution. And this will motivate people, the students and the parents and the community. When they show that, they will go out. So once again, we should be results oriented. We should be goal oriented, not feel good oriented. Not just intention oriented. We should be results oriented. We should learn, we should teach people how to accomplish things. And everyone should be responsible on how much they accomplished. This is a new measure of success. Not 
not for someone to just to memorize some names from the past. Well, we all know how the Sahaba was, were great men. We need to see the Sahaba today. Why did Islam expand after the Sahaba time? And why are we in the end of the line of the human civilization today? We need to find out people to sit down together, the ISD board, uh, a new board of trustees. We should form a new board of trustees and give them these tasks. The executive committee and the board focus on immediate things, more or less. We should form a new body, call it the board of trustees, and give them these tasks, people who have experience and time. That, no? that was actually my question. Yes. That um, how do we benefit from the experience and wisdom of people who have spent years and years in here? Because what I see, what I've observed, that the, the interaction between the youth and and uh, the the generation before the youth, that when I came in. Even I was misled in, in a number of situations. For example, when I would express my frustration with things not happening, uh, and this was before you know Tarbiya School opened, uh, and we didn't know any other solution. We we thought that this was the only solution, and, and I was trying to work within the system that you know how do we solve this? That there are these problems. How do we solve it? People would start coming in and start telling me that you know. It's the old people's problem. They are making all these troubles. And if you remember, I mean, I misbehaved with you once, for which I, I've regretted ever since. But it was all based on misinformation. That uh, things aren't happening, and then blaming holders, then getting rid of holders, that so much so that the that ISD board, or even Tarbiya School, or Zakat Foundation, all of these organizations that we look at, none of them have senior people at any level of, ad, in an advisory capacity, in a trustee capacity, in a director capacity. So how did that happen and how do we, how do we go back to a time or how do we establish a new system where, where we can learn from those experiences and yet allow the youth to, to, you know, do some of the things that they want to do and not feel that they're being, you know, stopped. So how do we achieve that balance? Uh, first of all, I would like to emphasize the youth. The, the youth activities are very important and they should increase. And one way to increase the youth activities is to find activities with nature suitable to them suitable to them ask them what they want to do and develop their programs from that point don't uh, develop programs for them the program should not come from the top down they they know what they want or at least it should be an interactive process their input should be given to the activities that they like and uh, as far as uh, making good use of the experience of the people who have it, it is by making a formal structure without sitting down the people involved, the directors sitting down and the elders and looking at the society not as an, uh, a mechanical organization, so to speak, not, not as just uh, a body, but as an entity, to look at its soul, look at the soul of the ISD and ask yourself, what do I want this soul to look like? 
as I said before, the psyche of this. What is it that will move this body? As I said before, initially what moved the body was the need for a worship place and then the need for a school. I need to add something now. The need for service. The need for service. If the people in charge of the society decide that this is a key goal, the need for service, then the next question will be how to establish that. And the people who have experience can make this a formal organization. You need a service group, a group that understands what kind of services that are needed. And I gave examples before. Solve the social ills. That's a service. If you have a body that develops the goal and then develop the means to reach that goal, and then these things, if they are done, they will, but they will get published. We have the internet, we have the, the regular messages, and uh, uh, we have the occasional newsletter.